Well, as you see, this water is standing. It doesn't pump out yeah, with every cycle. And so the first thing you want to check is your basket strainer. Uh, I had a spatula laying down in there, and the uh, chopper part of it, I chopped it pieces off of it, but they got off. And then that sticks in the strainer. And your strainer basket will be right here. And you just take that out, and you can check that and clean that. Uh, that's not my problem. But we did went through that. Sometimes that's dirty and you need to do that. So there's the first thing. Then the next place you want to look. Another thing you want to do is make sure that your disposal is clear. And so run your disposal. And just run some good hot water. I like to fill the sink up with hot water. Uh, and then let it all out one time and then uh, rinse it good. Uh, you can plunge it if you need to. But yeah, that's not the problem here either. No, it's not, not that. So then we're going to come down, and I like to keep my old pillows around, and that way you you got this, you get some kind of a, you know, some kind of something to give you some thickness underneath the cabinet, so you, you don't have to drop off there at the cabinet, and then a pillow, and why not let's work in comfort under there. And when we get under there, what we see is that line that the dishwasher is hooked up to is kinked right there. Kinked. That's what's keeping it from being, from flowing. So we need to figure out some way to keep that from kinking right there. And one, so what we're going to do is, is go get a new, because that was old, our new adapter for our dishwasher, and then a one inch coupling. And the one inch coupling will go over the outside fit over that fitting to keep it from bending. Off our little clamp here and here and take this off. And we can bring this around like that and have that fitting sit over there. Put a new fitting on. So here is our final solution. We tied off the line to cut down the kinking. We've got the PVC fitting so it can't kink, kink within that fitting. And so now we'll have a dishwasher that drains. Your Roomba, our robot doesn't want to clean. Well, just take your chairs and put them around it. Around them, and then you make a little area for Roomba to clean. Your Roomba, our robot doesn't want to clean. Well, just take your chairs and put them around it around them and then you make a little area for Roomba to clean.